Right, so um, the very first part we're going to learn acts as the intro, but it's also the verse, okay? So verse, uh, well, intro and verse A we're going to be learning. It's just going to sound like this then. <coughs> Okay, something like that, so really heavy. And um, what we're doing to get that heavy sound is while we're playing these chord shapes, we're going to be doing really heavy palm muting. So if you're not sure what that is, it's simply just taking this part of your hand there and uh, pressing it down on the actual strings up around the bridge there, so you get that kind of heavy sound. And then, uh, you know, if you sort of need a bit more tuition on that, I've actually got some full uh, palm muting lessons over at my site, fastfingerfreddy.com. So, you know, check out those and then come back when you're okay with that. Uh, but anyway, for this entire intro then, it's all going to be palm muted. And um, all we're basically going to be doing is moving our hand down like that. So the first position is index finger, fret uh, 7, string 6. And your ring finger, fret 9, string number um, 5. Okay, we're going to play this downwards uh, twice, palm muted. Then all we're going to do is lift your fingers off slightly and do that, okay, uh, palm muted thing to kind of get like a muted sound. So... Okay, and then, so it's down, down, and then when we do the mute, it's up. Okay, so, all right, like that. And then all we're going to do from there, if you look at the tab, slide it down to five and seven. Okay, slide it down to four and six. Okay, and to finish off, uh, three and five, we're just going to play that three times, so. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so in total. Okay. And if you look at the tab, we're just going to play that twice, okay? So again. Okay, so that's the intro of verse A then. Uh, if you take a look at the tab now then, it's just updated again for you. Uh, the first part's exactly the same, so. Okay, then the next part is going to start off the same, so uh, downwards twice at 7 and 9, then do the muted. Okay, then seven and five. And all we're going to do then is when we go down to four and six, we're going to play this four times. So, da 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 do, kind of quick, and then go down to three and five. Da 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 do. We're going to play it like that, all right, and not palm muted. So, that last part. Okay, so that's how to play verse B then. So, right from the start. Okay, something like that. So next up we've got the pre-chorus, and it's going to be almost identical to what we've just played. The only difference is when we're playing each chord shape, we're just going to put our little finger on as well, okay? So that first chord shape, um, index finger, fret 7, string 6, your ring finger, fret 9, string 5, but this time remember, your little finger onto fret 9, string 4, okay? So the string below. Um, we're going to play this twice, we're not going to do any muting this time, no uh, palm muting and none of the <coughs> when we move chord shapes. So twice, slide it down to 7 and 5, twice, down to 6 and 4, twice, and then down to 3 and 5, I'm going to play that four times, okay? And uh, in total we'll play that entire thing twice, so... <coughs> okay, so kind of heavy, and uh, that's the first part. If you look at the tab now then, um, it's almost identical, apart from all we've done the last time is miss off the 3 and the 5, okay? Because it goes something like do, 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 and it goes dun, 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 kind of like on the drums or whatever. So, that last part. Okay, so all I did that last time then, when I played 6 and 4, all I did to stop it was take this part of my hand, Lay it down on the strings after you've played it, and that'll just stop it from ringing out again. So, okay, so that's a pre chorus then. Next up, we've got the chorus, then um, they'll just sound something like this then. Okay, that's when it starts going, trouble times, you know I cannot lie. Okay, and right at the end it goes, and I'm hitching, hitching, right, that kind of thing. So, 
Anyways, uh, to start off with, index finger, um, fret 2, so you're covering strings 4 and 5. Don't cover string 6 though, because we're going to play that open. We're going to go down and up 8 times, okay? Do da do da do da do da. Okay, from there then, move your finger up to fret 2, string 6, ring finger on to fret 4, string 5, and your little finger on to fret 4, string 4, 8 times. Okay, then from there then, all we're going to do is go down a string and play that twice. Okay, uh, take your fingers off apart from your index finger, leave that on fret 2 but bring it down a string, so your index finger is covering strings 3 and 4, play that twice, then index finger up to fret 4, string 6, your ring finger fret 6, string 5, your little finger fret 6, string 4, twice and then down to 3 and 5 and play that twice so okay if you look at the tab now then um, it's going to be the same as we've just played just missing off the ending so 8 times at fret 2 and then when we go to 2 and 4 we're going to play that just 5 times and that's when it goes I'm off the wagon I'm here chain a ride Okay, so that's a chorus. Alright, so the solo then, uh, it's quite a long solo and it can be really confusing. So what I'm going to do is split it up into a couple of different sections, okay? So the first part then, uh, we're going to play, it's just going to sound like this then. Okay, so to start off with then, uh, we're going to be doing octaves, it's going to be kind of like a stretch. But what's good about this is it's always going to stay in that same kind of shape. We're just going to move that shape up and down like that kind of thing, okay? So, index finger, fret 9, string 4, and then your little finger, fret 12, string 2. So we'll have string 3 in the middle there. All we need to do is lay our index finger down a little bit so that it's lightly touching string 3. It's muting it like... So when we play those three, we're only going to hear, really, strings 2 and 4. Okay? If you look at the pattern, we're going to play that 12 times, kind of going down and up really quick. Then all we're going to do is slide up to 12 and 15 and play that 12 times, okay? So something like this then. Okay, something like that. And if you look at the next part, go back down to 12, uh, to 9 and 12. We're going to play that 12 times and then slide it down to 5 and 8, play that 6 times and then down to 4 and 7. And then we're going to play that uh, six times, so uh, in total then. Okay, something like that, so right from the start of that section then. Okay, something like that. If you take a look at the tab now then, the first part, uh, you know, this part is going to be exactly the same, so. Okay, and then from... Uh, 12 and 15, all we're going to do is slide up to 14 and 17. We're going to play this, uh, I think it's something like 24 times. And all we're going to do is, when you get to the end of it, start to try and bend the 17 note up a little bit. So, um, you know, it, it can kind of sound out of pitch a little bit, but if you listen to the song, that's actually kind of what it sounds like. So, something like this then. Something like that, okay. So, you're kind of bending it a little bit. And, uh, you know, that's basically that part. So, you know, again, from the start of this section then, it'll just sound like this. Okay, something like that. So, that's like the first four parts so far then. Alright, so this next part can be really sort of tricky. So, I'm just trying to play it uh, slow for you and something like this then. Okay, something like that, um, play it a little bit scruffy, so apologies for that. But um, it's going to be that same kind of shape, and um, it's basically, like I said, just moving it up and down. The only problem you're going to have is just remembering the pattern, okay? So to start off with then, uh, index finger, fret 14, string 4, and your little finger, fret 17, string 2. You're going to play this once, and then slide it down to 12 and 15, then 12 and 9, and then back up to 12 and 15. And it's going to do that twice, so... Okay, that's the first part there then. 
and uh, the next part then is back up to seven uh, to 14 and 17 I'm gonna play that and then go down to 12 and 15 then 9 and 12 and then this time go all the way down to 7 and 10 so okay and then from there 12 and 9 and then back up to 12 and 15 back down to 12 and 9 and then back down to 7 and 10 so okay so okay and the final part then 9 and 12 then up to 12 and 15 then 12 and 17 and then back down to 12 and 15 and we'll just play that there twice in total then so okay so um, I play really slow you know just like that right from the start and uh, you should have something like this then okay so that's it kind of like, you know played individually you know all you need to do is just play it without the pauses so yep and uh, that's playing each note one time if you want to what you can do is play each note three times and go da 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 you know that kind of thing uh, you know it's up to you which way you play it really and to finish off the solo all we're going to do is go back to that seven, uh, 14 and 17 shape play it 12 times and start to bend it up again so okay something like that and uh, that basically takes us right to the end of the solo um, you know like I said you shouldn't really have too many tr uh, troubles with the actual um, you know, fingering because it's basically that same shape just sliding up and down a little bit the picking is probably going to give you some troubles but also actually remembering the shapes so like I said you know what I do is just play it one time and kind of move it down until you've got the shape and then once you're okay with it that's when you can do the you know really kind of work on your picking and you, uh, work on your strumming okay so that's a solo in total Next up we've got chorus B and if you look at the tab it's actually uh, to start off with the same as chorus A so again it's you know that thing the only difference is um, when we get to the second section if you look at the tab now when he sings uh, I'm off the wagon and I'm hitching a ride uh, what he does instead of um, sort of stopping on the four like we did you know instead of stopping in that shape and playing it five times like we did earlier it's going to play eight times so okay so that part in total and the entire chorus okay so we've just come from the chorus which ended and then it goes Hitching a ride, and he goes, don't know where I'm going. I think that's what Mike says, and uh, that's going to be. Okay, kind of heavy like that then. So um, all we're doing there then is your index finger onto fret 7, string 6, your ring finger, fret 9, string 5, your little finger, fret 9, string 4. Going to play that four times, so do da do da. And then go down a string and down to frets five and seven okay then up a string and down to frets three and five and then finally down again to frets two and four and those are four shapes okay so do 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 all right and like I said that's going to come in from the chorus so you know the chorus ends with the uh, this shape, and then I go straight into the outro. So okay, so you can see how it kind of fits together. So that's the first part of the outro. Uh, the next part of the outro, all we're going to be doing is going back to that octave shape at 14 and 17, like that. We're going to be playing this 12 times. And again, while you're playing it, sort of bend upwards, so. Okay, something like that. And then once you've ended that, just stop. Stop the note from ringing out by laying your fingers down, okay? And then all we're going to do, the very, very last note of the song, um, it's going to sound like this. 
Okay, um, I've got a little bit of distortion on there. You're actually meant to play it clean, but you know, not to worry about that. And uh, all we're doing there then, lay your index finger down at fret 2, so you're covering strings 5 and 6, and then with your other two fingers, your um, ring finger and your little finger, lay them down over all the other strings. So at fret 4, lay them down over strings 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're just going to slowly pick down. So. <laughs> Okay, and that is the end of the song then. That's outro C, uh, B and A, all done. Obviously, put them all together to give you the full outro. Like I said, that's a full song for hitching a ride. Hopefully, you won't have too many problems. If you do, it's probably going to be based around the solo. But, it, you know, really slowing it down, play each uh, note individually, and then once you're okay with that, then you can sort of work on the quick kind of strumming, okay?